So hi everybody, uh, my name is Marjan and I'm from Kazakhstan uh, and at the moment I'm uh, and I would like to introduce uh, first of all uh, Abolition 2000 Youth Network. So uh, it's a working group uh, of young people for nuclear disarmament uh, and our main aim is to engage, educate and inform young people about um, the danger of nuclear weapons, uh, about the actions needed for nuclear abolition, and also to engage them uh, in the topic of sustainable development goals as well in connection with nuclear disarmament. And to come up with the um, statistics about our network, we have around um, more than 100 members coming from um, almost all over the world, so it's quite international. We have um, members from all nuclear armed states except uh, um, North Korea uh, and uh, we are uh, having a network which means that uh, there are national organizations as well as a part of our network in particular uh, youth organizations so to list some of them uh, we have uh, CTBTO youth group which stands for comprehensive test ban treaty organization youth group uh, then we have um, uh, International Student Young Pugwash Movement. We also have uh, students from uh, IPPNW students. It's uh, the uh, International Physicians for the Prevention of Nuclear War, uh, the student section, uh, and um, many others. So these were the main ones. Um, when it comes to our actions, um, uh, I would like to uh, tell about the recent ones that we have made or the, the most often ones that we uh, do. So, for example, we had uh, movie screenings of the documentary called Where the Wind Blew, uh, which was uh, talking about um, uh, people from the United States and from Kazakhstan, um, from the Nevada test site and Semipolitan test site, uh, sharing their um, stories about the impact of nuclear tests uh, and um, showing also, describing the stories of the, those people being affected, uh, especially in terms of humanitarian consequences as well as uh, environmental. Um, we also had uh, social media actions as well. So one of them to mention is um, um, Reach High for a Nuclear Weapon Free World. So this was a very simple action to engage young people uh, from anywhere. Um, so the idea was to either take a picture or uh, make a video of holding a peace sign and uh, placing it up uh, and saying Reach High for a Nuclear Weapon Free World uh, in uh, their and we do have a um, um, compiled video of that, the short version, which is available in YouTube. Um, I can also send uh, the link probably later on. Um, uh, one of our major events that uh, we have had uh, uh, two years ago was in Prague, in Czech Republic. This was the international youth conference uh, that took place in 2017 in Prague. Uh, and um, the conference uh, uh, gathered uh, young people from um, almost 19 uh, countries. Uh, we had a very good uh, regional coverage and as a result of this conference we have adopted uh, a youth appeal uh, for a nuclear weapon free world uh, which uh, had um, calls for uh, countries uh, to sign and ratify the treaty or, um, the ban treaty, uh, the nuclear weapons ban treaty. Uh, then we also um, called states uh, to adopt no first use policies and in general called um, states to, uh, to be active for uh, nuclear disarmament. Um, we have also highlighted the role of diplomacy as well and um, one of the key features from the use appeal was the um, topic of intergenerational cooperation uh, which uh, abolition 2000 is a great example of because uh, abolition 2000 provides a platform for young people to uh, collaborate with uh, seniors and by this we can uh, see that um, the experience from um, 
um, older generation uh, passes to younger generation and that there is a bridge, uh, the connecting bridge between them. Um, I also would like to um, about um, that uh, Abolition 2000 Youth Network was, uh, is very supportive of uh, global actions. Uh, and one of them was um, last year um, with the Youth Peace Week, which is um, a campaign uh, by Peace Foundation in New Zealand, uh, which is mainly uh, focused on peace education uh, and involving young people. So last year, the topic was about um, climate uh, change. Uh, in sustainable development. And this year, the focus of the Youth Peace Week uh, is um, on peace and technologies. So how technologies could be used for the benefit uh, of, uh, oh, thank you, <laughs> of the, uh, for the young people, because um, our generation of young people is very uh, technologically savvy. I would say we like to use uh, social media. Uh, and I think that we can amplify our efforts even more young people with the use of technologies. Um, then uh, I would like to say that young people themselves uh, cannot achieve a lot without support or without collaboration with others. So um, as uh, Jaike mentioned before about the Flag Day, um, our youth network uh, was a part of the Flag Day in Germany last year. Uh, in particular, we've been part uh, of the Flag Day in the region of Baden-Württemberg, in the cities of uh, Aalen, Stuttgart, um, and we've been also to Bichel. And we had an action with the 3D Nuke art, uh, together with the civil society representatives. And we also work closely with the parliamentarians as well. Uh, so, um, we are closely working with uh, the Parliamentary Union, um, Young Forum of Parliamentarians, which comprises um, members of parliaments who are younger than uh, 30 or 35 years old. Uh, and we've been promoting uh, and um, informing them about the Parliamentary Action Plan for a Nuclear Weapon Free World, which was uh, released by PNND, Parliamentarians for Nuclear Non-Proliferation and Disarmament, in cooperation uh, with the Interparliamentary Union. And this uh, Parliamentary Action Plan uh, is providing examples for not only members of the parliaments, but also for the civil society representatives or for any other interested people uh, to, um, to see the examples of uh, how uh, to reduce the nuclear risks, uh, how to um, how to prevent the nuclear proliferation and uh, how to achieve the free world. And um, about our upcoming events, I would like to highlight that uh, I think for the first time, if I'm not mistaken, uh, the Abolition 2000 Youth Network will have a youth delegation uh, at the NPT PrepCon meeting this year in New York. Uh, and uh, our delegation is uh, small in, uh, in numbers, but I think it's good in qualities and in terms of representation. Uh, and we are having a side event uh, together with the German uh, NGO, which is called, um, I'm not sure exactly, but uh, something with German uh, Union for, free, uh, for Peace. I'm, I'm not sure, but I can um, check the information and send it later on. So we are planning the side event on peace education and youth involvement, which is scheduled for the third. Uh, and this can be seen at the, um, online at the Reaching Critical Will website for the calendar of the NPT PrepCom side events. Uh, and uh, I think um, I have mentioned most of the things. So Abolition 2000 Youth Network is also supporting the Youth Peace Week uh, for this year. We are one of the global co-coordinators and we um, encourage uh, youth organizations uh, or schools, universities uh, to join Youth Peace Week. So you can simply do it uh, by 
uh, taking a look at the website of Peace Foundation and there is a link to which you apply. And after that, you receive uh, a, a toolkit with the examples of um, activities and actions that can be uh, taken. And there is also um, a support in terms of communication with the Peace Foundation in New Zealand. Uh, and it's an opportunity to become a part of the global uh, movement of young people. And finally, I would say that um, being a young person, uh, I think that um, most of our younger generation um, is not really aware of the fact uh, of nuclear weapons, for example, being present, uh, of American nuclear weapons being present uh, in uh, Europe. Uh, and also there is lack of, um, I think, um, knowledge about the humanitarian consequences of nuclear weapons, as well as their um, damaging threat, uh, especially in terms of um, the impact on health. Uh, I can tell this uh, since I'm coming from Kazakhstan and my country was affected and we still see the transgenerational impact uh, of the nuclear tests uh, uh, in the civilized um, area and, um, and I think that we should be um, engaging more young people, especially using the social media uh, and providing the space for young people to um, to participate meaningfully, to be inclusive into the high level events and uh, not just to raise their voices, but let them be for their voices heard. So thank you.